Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of the Dan Dawson Show. So I have an update for you. More information came out this weekend regarding the Rust set film shooting. And for all of you who aren't firearms instructors, be happy you're not. You'd be losing your damn minds right now. So, one of the first things we do over at Kuchman Tactical is when you first come in, if you bring ammo with you, we place it way away from your firearm. I told you we clear it safe all the time. So now here's apparently what happened on the set. They were using the pistol for target practice. That's right. And a certain way they frame things I don't agree with. They say a few days earlier the pistol had discharged twice. Uh uh. Uh uh. Technically, they're correct. The problem is, they make it sound like the pistol fired on its own, which it didn't. So the pistol was working properly. I'm assuming it was a Colt, so we'll just go with Colt because of the time period this is supposed to be set in. The Colt was working properly. They were using it for target practice. So apparently, it didn't discharge a blank. It fired the stuntman or extra or whatever, fired two live rounds. So at that point in time, it, not only Alec Baldwin, everybody on that set should have been well aware of what was going on. And maybe should have stopped target practicing with us, um, with the gun that was going to be used in the movie. Uh, I refuse to say prop. Whenever you say prop gun, people think it's, a, it's in earth or it won't fire. No, it fires. It fires, apparently. So if just the way they're framing it, I, I don't like. Um, then they're mixing live ammo with blanks. We use um, inert rounds in our training to teach you how to fix a malfunction, to teach you how to properly load, you had to properly uh, rack around all that good stuff and we make sure each and every lesson sometimes several times a day that the live rounds do not get mixed with the inert rounds because you can bet if one of his instructors even had a negligent discharge like that where a live round ended up where it shouldn't be uh, you'd be gone Kelly will fire you. The, um, sorry, I just got a text message. It's just the way it's being framed. The trigger was actually pulled. Turns out the armor had made a similar mistake on the last movie she did. And I've seen some unflattering TikTok videos of her. And she did not seem like a serious person. For all of you that personally know me, know I love to laugh and joke. <clears throat> but when you come to one of my classes, you'll see a whole different side of Dan. I want you relaxed. I want you, in the, I want you present. I want you in the moment. I don't want you tensing up because when you tense up real bad, mistakes happen. I want you to learn. But you don't joke about safety. There's no leeway with safety. But stuff like this happens. No leeway. One of the things we always tell you, um, if you're going to be cleaning your firearm or doing trigger work, trigger work is where you're practicing smoothly pulling your trigger, right? Which as a competitive shooter also, that's one of the things I do all the time, almost on a daily basis, almost on a daily basis. We'll also tell you when you're doing stuff like that, you're maintaining your gun or you're practicing your trigger work or working your slide or you're practicing on your reloads because we do send you with homework leave your ammo separated from the gun it should be in another room for me what i do is I have a gun cabinet just for ammo right and so whatever gun i'm working with that day i make sure that ammo is in that gun cabinet which is inside of a closet the um and then I'll clean my gun, I'll do my trigger work, and then I set it for 30, 45 minutes. Meaning I won't reload it. 
30, 45 minutes at least. I've gone three or four hours with just sitting it and keep in mind, usually I'm working with my, uh, I'm working with my competition pistol. Nothing's, no ammo's going there yet to do a competition. But if it's my daily carry gun, which is more important to work with than the competition pistol, in my view. Um, then yeah, no ammo. I've been at times where no ammo went in that for three hours. Remember what I said in the last video? This was negligent. So come to find out the armor had made this mistake before. To me, it kind of seems like she's being thrown under the bus. But ultimately, it's her responsibility and Alec Baldwin's responsibility to make sure that gun is okay. And the gun, see the way they were saying it, it's the gun accidentally discharged the week before, two, three times, whatever. Here's the problem. It's not what actually happened. It's not like the gun was in a holster, somebody was holding the gun, didn't have a finger on the trigger, and it just discharged. The trigger was pulled and there were live rounds in it. It's what should actually be said because that's actually what happened. Remember when I made that first video, I said this was negligence, no matter what way you cut it. And now we're finding out it was even more negligence. Why was the crew using a movie, the gun that was going to be used in the movie for target practice? So how did... And then they're, oh, another thing. So they're trying to frame it where, well, if the old crew hit, just let go, was mad at him, God knows what could have happened. Somebody could have, if it happened the week before and they weren't mad at him then, until after that, then what makes you think this can't happen again? Especially Alec Baldwin, he knew that. The armor, she knew that. So it seems like you would be super extra careful. And you sure as hell wouldn't be pointing at anybody. I don't know. The whole situation is just kind of blowing up. The more and more details that come out, the more my head hurts. So, <laughs> but like, subscribe, share, and as always, do what you got to do.